Ugh. Man, it's freezing out here. I sure wish I had a heated chair. They call me the Asian phenom and I'm the best at what I do because I review everything from A to Z. Today we're going to take an exclusive look at the Dacus Vex heated camping chair. Oh wow, what's all in here? Oh, that is a nice carry bag. Ooh, what's in here? That's mysterious. It's a nice size lawn chair. Wait to test out all the features. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. That's some beautiful construction. Okay, I see it's foldable. It has many features. All right, so welcome to my corner of the house. Look at how beautiful it is. So let's go ahead and test out this chair before I bring it outside because it is freezing. Oh, nice Velcro strap right there. Look at how easy this unfolds. Wow, it's like plug and play. Look at that. That's beautiful right there. I really like that gray and black finish. We need a closer look at this. Look at that nice nylon fabric and stitching. Oh, it's got some cushion in there. That's very nice. Also some cushion on the armrest too. So this is made to support 300 pounds and I'm just about down to 160 right now. Very nice solid steel construction on the bottom. Here you got these rubber legs. That's good. And what's this right here? Oh, this looks like a, is this a phone pocket? This must be a water bottle pocket. And what does it look like in the back though? That's a huge pocket right here. You can put a lot of stuff back here. And on the left side, oh, that is, there is the power button. So, how is it powered? Oh, you can plug in any type of power bank that uses a USB 8 type of charge. How awesome is that? Even though it's freezing out here, I'm doing this review just for you guys. As you can see, there's plenty of snow left. We got about five inches right here. So let me go ahead and connect the power bank. So here we go, USB-A to USB-A. Put it in the pocket. Okay, no power on, turn it on. So while that's heating up, I want to let you know there are actually three heat levels. The first being a low 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Second one is blue 113 degrees Fahrenheit. And lastly, we have the green at the hottest at 122 degrees Fahrenheit. So let's, let's let that warm up. Let's start out with the low. It's supposed to take like 10 seconds to warm up. You know what? As a test engineer, I should use a thermometer to measure temperature. All right, so I have it off right now, and I want to measure the surface temperature. Right now it says 38.2, so let's go ahead and turn it on with low. Let that heat up. It's been well over 10 seconds. Let's go ahead and take the measurement. Remember it was like 38.2? See, it heated up. Gradually heating up. We're almost at 40 degrees C. Now I notice it said 10 seconds to heat up. I don't think it means to reach the temperature setting. It just means 10 seconds to heat up the system. I think that's what it means because right now we see it's still below 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So let's go ahead and turn it up a notch to the medium, which is blue. Once I'm touching the cushion for the seat, it's definitely warm. Yeah, it's definitely heating up right now. You know what? Let's go ahead and turn it to the max, which is the green color. We will see if it actually reaches the temperature 120 degrees Fahrenheit. So I gave the chair plenty of time to heat up. 
Let's go ahead and measure that now. Yeah, it looks like it's stuck at like 40 degrees Fahrenheit. But we have to keep in mind of the ambient temperature out here because it's like freezing. I mean, I didn't see my breath and everything. I'm gonna have to do another temperature measurement when I'm indoors. But on the plus side, we have this large water bottle holder and a pocket for your phone. And on the back, let's see what I have. Oh, I got my reading material right here. All key issues, got my snacks. Big pocket to hold all my snacks and everything. Especially perfect for camping. And don't forget, it's easy folding. So I can fold that way easily. Oh, don't forget I have all the stuff in there. Time to go back in stores. So I'm back indoors and I realized a mistake. Typically when you turn on a device, the low setting starts first. It looks like they have it backwards. So as it appears, the green is the lowest, blue is the medium, and red is the highest, which starts out first. So I'm gonna take a measurement right here. I think I have my heat at uh, 67 degrees Fahrenheit. So the same distance as before. Okay, so about 60 degrees. But what if we get close up? Because maybe their temperature reading is when it's close up. See? So it got a little bit warmer. What about the seat right here? Ah, so it's definitely a lot warmer on the seat. It's like almost 90 degrees. Let's take another measurement. Huh, this must be the heating element right in the middle. It's the warmest. Okay guys, let's forget about the temperature reading for a minute and test it out. Oh, wow, talk about soothing. I really feel it around my bum area and my lower back and upper back now. Oh, wee. I can just imagine being out in the cold. Even though it might not reach those 100 degrees Fahrenheit temperatures, but no doubt in my mind, this chair will keep me warm in the cold. So imagine if you are going to an outdoor concert or outdoor game or simply camping this will make the perfect addition so you can relax and enjoy the events or the great outdoors <laughs>